Hello, welcome to Outside Xbox, Mike here, and I have in front of me something that not a lot of people in the world have at the moment because they only just started shipping them, but I have the Mad Cat's Xbox One steering wheel, which is built for Forza Motorsport 5 and any other racing games that come out for the Xbox One. I feel like this should be more like Top Gear. I mean, can we put a, like a nice filter over the top and, I don't know, maybe some jokes about Mexicans? Ooh, what do Mexicans put under their carpet? Underlay. No, it doesn't doesn't work for two reasons. One, we don't have a budget of two million pounds per episode, and two, we really like Mexicans. Anyone who invents the burrito gets a free pass from us. All right, so how about we just go for a bit of a drive with this thing and see how it handles. All right, so I thought I'd pick something nice and sedate for our first test drive of the Mad Cat steering wheel, a Formula One car at the Spa Francorchamps circuit in Belgium. All right, the first thing you'll notice is that low rumbling sound. And that is the fact that there are force feedback motors inside the steering wheel. So you can actually feel the car as you're driving it. So it goes rumbling away as I lose grip through wheel spin at the start of the race. So as you clatter over the curbs, you can actually feel that vibration through the steering wheel, which is great. So I'm a big believer in steering wheels, and I think they really enhance racing games uh, immeasurably, but obviously they're quite expensive. This one's £350 or $400, depending on what country you live in and uh, they also take up a lot of space uh, if you have a significant other that doesn't understand racing games then uh, they're not really going to appreciate having this in the living room on a permanent basis sorry you'll have to forgive me I'm trying to talk while driving a Formula 1 car and uh, I don't think the human brain is built to do those two things at the same time unfortunately most of us will never get the chance to drive a uh, Lotus Formula 1 car this allows you to get at least a little bit closer on your Xbox One. As you can see, driving with the steering wheel is rather more hard work than driving with the pad as well. I'm actually sweating, playing this on one of the hottest days of the year, and it's, it's a bad idea. Being to smell like a boot. So one of the other great things is actually, although some of the fastest racing game players in the world do use controllers, for mere mortals like us, actually having the increased range of motion that a steering wheel offers and the increased control on the pedals means you'll actually be faster. Alright, well I survived and I won the race, even though I spent a lot of the time in the gravel trap. So one of the really cool things about the steering wheel is the level of adjustability that you have. So the angle of the steering wheel can be chosen, the spacing of the pedals, the angle of the pedals and how much, how tall they are. So obviously you don't get the whole play seat uh, for your 350 quid but it mounts perfectly to this play seat. The pedals are a little bit long for my model of uh, play seat. They're quite a bulky thing. They also come with like about a million pieces of plastic, which I frankly couldn't be bothered to attach because they're kind of unnecessary. The pedals still work without them. But you can do all sorts of things like change the angle of this steering wheel thing and you know, it mounts really nicely to this, but it will also mount to a desk or you can even if you're insane, put it in your lap and try and play like that, but I wouldn't recommend it. Definitely fix it to something sturdy if you can. You can also detach the steering wheel if you want. Now, what Mad Cats have said is that they're going to release different steering wheels. So while this one looks like your classic GT racer style uh, steering wheel, they'll also be releasing, you know, maybe an F1 style wheel or, you know, perhaps even tie-ups with manufacturers. I know Thrustmaster have the Ferrari license and Fanatec have the Porsche license, but you could imagine maybe a premium uh, racing car brand or sports car brand having their own uh, branded steering wheel for the Mad Cats. Uh, there's no danger of it coming off while you're racing unless you're, you know, actually literally unscrewing it as you go, which would be a bit crazy. It's got all the controls you need on the front, uh, so if you need to navigate menus and things like that, you don't have to also have a controller, which is super useful and you've got a ton of buttons and things so any racing games with like added functionality like press B for blue shell or whatever you'll be able to do that from the wheel which is pretty cool build quality is really good actually like very sturdy uh, maybe would have liked some metal pedals that would have been nice but you might have sacrificed a bit of the kind of adjustability because you can literally put space the pedals as you see fit so let's go for another drive oh, let's just go for the daddy right Nürburgring Nordschleife let's do it I'm going to die, I might as well die in a blaze of glory. So obviously paddle shifters for this, no gear shift, but uh, I suspect it being a kind of modular setup, you'll be able to maybe buy that later on. So this is a little more Larry actually. 
a little less planted. You can feel the, the rear of the car coming away as you start to slide, which is a really nice feeling. But this is the worst thing. You hear that gung 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 sound? So, there appear to be two types of motor in the Mad Cat. One of which is a sort of more standard force feedback motor, which controls as the car starts to drift and things, and that's what you want. The other is a big vibration motor, which you can hear right there, going jug, 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 jug. And the problem is that vibration motor kicks in every single time you lose grip. And, you know, Forza is a game that is entirely built on physics. The whole game is designed to be physically reactive. So when I'm sliding like that, that's fine. That's brilliant because it's all progressive. As the car slides out, the wheel starts to pull and I correct it using my sort of feel for the steering wheel. The problem is that vibration motor kind of drowns everything out. It's sort of like as if you're as if you're listening to a really good song with the bass turned far, far too high and it's drowning out the detail of the song. And I think that's the problem here. All the data is going to the wheel, the wheel is interpreting that data, but then it's kind of flattening it with its giant subwoofer, force feedback subwoofer. So it's not necessarily the end of the world because one of the cool things about this wheel is that it can be upgraded. It has firmware, so like drivers essentially inside the wheel. And you can upgrade those using a PC. So because all the wheel's doing is interpreting data from the game and, and turning it into vibrations, what the guys at Mad Cats could do is tweak the software a little bit, the, you know, the drivers inside the wheel, so that it's not quite so aggressive. Because I love the vibration motors over the curves. Like if I hit those curves, I love that I can feel that. But when I start to slide, I want to be able to feel the car sliding and losing grip in a in a realistic way rather than just in a vibrating way. Alright, so I'll try and stop crashing now and actually drive around this circuit a little bit. This car is, is something of a handful. It's probably designed for better drivers than me. You know, I really hope Madcats watch this because I feel like in terms of the hardware, the hardware is pretty great actually. And you know, there's, there's a real sense that they've kind of concentrated on the stuff that racing fans want, like detachable steering wheel rims and you know, really sort of precise uh, handling. And Forts is a better game for it. You know, I don't think Forza plays as well on a controller as it does on a, on a great steering wheel instead of throwing it into the hairpin backwards. And you know, this stuff is challenging. You will find it more difficult if you're not used to driving with the steering wheel. You will find it more difficult to start with, but you will get better. You will be better than me, no doubt, as well. Jeez, you can just feel all the little tiny movements going on as you slide around. But you also know that that vibration motor is just sitting there in the background ready to start bellowing all over it. This is how the Nürburgring is supposed to be. It's supposed to be terrifying. And it feels all the more so when you're actually trying to judge every tiny movement, every force that's coming through the tyres into the steering wheel. See, when you hold a slide like that, the steering wheel pretty much is worth the price of admission. Well, second. You can't say fairer than that. I've got an affinity with Brabham, a company that only has one car in the game and won't be making any anytime soon. Yeah, so I appreciate that it's an extremely expensive piece of kit, but I am convinced that if you are serious about racing games, and if the Xbox One is where you primarily play racing games, you do need a steering wheel. Now, there is another steering wheel out on the market. It's called the Thrustmaster. I haven't had a chance to try that one yet for more than about five minutes. Um, the Thrustmaster are a really, really good established brand. And, you know, there's been some great Thrustmaster products recently. I think it's definitely got a challenger in the Mad Cats, uh, wheel, but I think it's it's really the software and that vibration motor, that gun 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 thing that is really letting down an otherwise pretty cool piece of hardware. I think it's got a few problems that need to be ironed out, but they're problems that can be ironed out crucially. You know, there's nothing fundamentally wrong with the wheel itself, which is always a good thing. So there you go, bit nerdy. I'm indulging myself. But uh, we blaze through it, hopefully, and at least you have a bit more of an idea why I prefer a steering wheel my racing games than a controller. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and we will see you next time on Outside Xbox. Bye.